Well, I told you guys in the last video that we were traveling and I'm pleased to announce that we made it to Canada. And welcome what's up everybody thank you for clicking on the video starting this one out a little bit different today from out here in the tundra but actually this is just my front yard this is still texas and it's a rough one out here all the snow man as i'm sure all of you are aware we are in the middle of some gnarly arctic blast here in the states and here in texas we are down into super frigid super cold freezing temperatures stuff that we're not really used to down here so uh yeah it's been tough past couple days we're snowed in a lot of people without power if you're out there watching this right now in the cold i hope you're staying warm staying safe and if you're watching this after your power came back on thank you for tuning into the video i hope you stayed warm during the arctic blast we're gonna be doing something a little bit different in today's video today i'm gonna be showing you guys my thought process Process, and I'm gonna be breaking down step by step what I do, what I go through, what I think about when I'm about to get rigged up for a day of fishing. So if you saw my last video, my friend Jay Gone Fishing took both myself and Ben Milliken out on his boat. It wasn't the best day of fishing, but it wasn't the worst day of fishing. We learned a couple things while we were out there. So before I took Ben out on Beetlejuice, I wanted to make some adjustments and get some different gear tied on, get some setups ready for the water out there. Hopefully be able to take Ben out, put him on some fish. But while I was getting ready to do that, I thought that it would be a cool idea for me to film it. I just thought it would be a cool idea to let you guys see the baits that I tie on, talk about the adjustments that I made, and what I was thinking while I made these bait selections. So that's what we're going to be doing in today's video. We're going to travel back in time to a warmer time when there wasn't all this snow on the ground. We're going to hop into the boat. We're going to get some setups rigged up and ready for the water. And I'm just going to talk to you guys about that a little bit, let you guys kind of see um, what I do inside the boat as I'm getting ready to rip out on the water, make some adjustments, and try to catch some fish after a tough day of fishing. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to climb up into the boat we're gonna experience the warmth of the Texas Sun as it once was here in the front yard before all of this happened and that's gonna be the name of the game in today's video I also want to address tackle wall Tuesday since today is a Tuesday and this is a video but this is not a tackle wall Tuesday video so I know some of you guys are gonna ask what's going on tackle wall Tuesday is not dead it's just on a little hiatus in the last episode we reached the end of the submissions I got all the way to the end of the emails and I'm just waiting for the inbox to pile up a little bit more so that we can shoot a few more episodes so if you guys still want want to see Tackle Wall Tuesday, make sure you submit a photo of your tackle wall, your tackle collection, your tackle mile, tackle pile to tacklewall at gmail.com. And as soon as I get a good little stack of submissions, we'll fire the series back up and get Tackle Wall Tuesday back in full swing. No worries. It's not gone. It's just taking a little breather. Tackle Wall Tuesday, still a thing. We just need to get some submissions in. So tell everybody that you know that has a tackle wall, tacklewall at gmail.com, and we'll get that series rolling again as soon as possible. And I want to talk to you guys about this six cents blue blade hoodie that you might have saw me wearing out there on the water in my previous video man let me just tell you guys if i did not have this hoodie i would have been in trouble but thanks to this thing i was warm and not only warm i was dry not a drop not a drip drop got inside this thing out there fishing in the wind and the rain kept me totally warm my torso all good out there with the six cents blade hoodie this isn't just a hoodie when you put this thing on and you get out there in the weather you will realize it is far more than a hoodie this is full blown winter weather gear and they're advertising it as water resistant but I'm telling you guys I got pounded with rain in this thing not a drop inside so in my opinion this thing is definitely water worthy waterproof whatever you want to call it worth every penny I'm glad that I have it on right now because I can tell you I would not be out here in this snow without it that's six cents fishing.com new blade hoodie use that code JR10 that's gonna give you a good little chunk of cash off of this bad boy when you go to check out so yeah I just want to talk about the blade hoodie now we're gonna climb up in the boat we're gonna get some um, setups rigged up with some new baits some different baits we're gonna try to make some adjustments that's what today's video is about the next video that you will see will be me and Ben out aboard Beetlejuice covered in snow over there and yeah that's gonna be the name of the game that's how we're gonna play this little little rod and reel bait rigging action for you today and a little snow update from the Canadian tundra aka Central Texas. This ain't it. I'm calling the cops. I don't know which one of you are responsible for this. This is horrible. All right, let's get some baits rigged up. All right, what's up, guys? So we're out here in the boat getting rigged up to go fish with Ben tomorrow. Thought I would walk you guys through sort of my steps to getting rigged up for the next day, my thought process behind the baits that I'm going to tie on, and just walk you guys through the process of what I'm going to do to get ready for a day of fishing tomorrow based on what I learned out on the lake yesterday. It's been a while since I've shot a video out here in the boat like this, but let's just get into it. Got a few rods on deck over here. First thing that I know I'm going to do, got this Millican series 
series, seven foot two inch, medium heavy, moderate fast action rod. And what I'm going to do is tie a square bow crankbait onto this. You guys probably already know which one. I still have all my gear in my backpack from when I went fishing with those dudes last time. Gotta get my scissors out of the backpack. As you can see, I took some blood apple divine worms, a couple extra divine swim jigs, a couple different colors. Never got around to throwing this. Threw this for a little while, didn't get bit on it. Probably put these on the back burner, throw some other baits. I'm not trying to drag a worm out there tomorrow. We're gonna be power fishing, running and gunning, see if we can get on a reaction bite. So the first adjustment that I'm going to make is I'm going to transfer this Chester Cheeto over to that Millican series rod because I'm gonna use this for throwing another square bill crankbait. I'll show you that in just a second. This is what I had on that Millican series rod. Little ball head finesse jig, the little Reaction Innovations Smalley Beaver on the back of it. Threw that for a while yesterday, did not get bit. So I'm replacing it, this crankbait. Radiation Craw Crush 50X, Chester Cheeto, you guys know the deal. Chester Cheeto is always on deck. We're gonna tie this onto this Millican series rod. I'm gonna use an improved clinch knot. I see some guys asking online whether they need to use a snap or a swivel or remove the split rings. No, the answer is no. Just tie directly to the split ring. Whatever knot you're gonna use. San Diego Jam is also a really good knot. That and the improved clinch knot are the two knots that I like to use when I'm tying fluorocarbon directly to my bait. All right, there we are. Rigged up Crush 50X on the Millican Series 7.2 SLX DC 7.2 to one gear ratio. Turning and burning a small profile square bill crankbait. One of my favorite ways to fish. Now, what crankbait am I going to replace that with on the movement square bill rod that I just cut that Chester Cheeto off of? Let me show you. Really quick, I'll tell you about the movement square bill rod before I show you what bait I'm gonna tie on. Lux Series, seven foot, four inch, medium heavy, fast action. This right here is my favorite square bill cranking rod. My favorite for throwing this bait that I'm about to show you. I'm also about to show you guys something that I've never showed you before. This right here is the heaters only box. Confidence box. Hard baits, they're all square bill crank baits. I don't let you guys get a peek in here. I'm sure some of you already know what baits are in this box. This is my little heaters only box right here. Now you know. So I'm going to pull out of this heaters only box. Surprise, surprise. The Crush Flat 75X square bill crankbait. This right here is the Shad Pro Color. This is what I'm gonna throw on to that movement square bill rod. So we can have two different cranking options. A flat sided square bill and a Crush 50 Shad and Crawfish. Let's tie it on. Heaters only. You know the deal. Stickers are coming back soon. Stay ready. Same deal, improved clinch knot. And there it is, Lux Series. Seven foot four inch, medium heavy, fast, movement square bill cranking rod rigged up. The Crush Flat 75X. All right, now next up, I noticed a couple different things about the way the fish were eating yesterday. And the main bait, the main type of forage that they wanted was a small profile bait fish like this. I was throwing this on the Corrado 70 MGL and uh, it did great, but it's just a little light for a bait caster. So I'm actually gonna cut this off and I'm gonna tie it on to, you guys won't believe it, a spinning setup. That's right guys, I'm gonna cut this finesse jig off. I'm gonna tie that tiny little swim bait onto this MF -er series spinning rod, Shimano Sahara. And yep, this will be the super light tackle rig for tomorrow. Hopefully I won't need it. That's a little Kitech tungsten finesse jig with a missile baits Ned bomb on the back of it. Pretty killer little finesse jig. But we're gonna tie this onto that setup. This bait right here is a little 3 16 ounce ball head screw lock. Just a little swim bait hook, a Kitech 2.8 inch paddle tail swim bait. And they were munching this yesterday. Caught my first ever live scope fish on this bait right here in my hand. Reel it, reel it, reel it, reel it. We got it. We got it. Nah, he didn't. He didn't. He didn't. There he is. There he is. Yes! He came back for it and did smoke it. Yes. First ever live scope fish right here. Yes. That was awesome. Jay's about to get the other one. This one had a friend. Yes, we got them both doubled up. Yes. Love it. Loving every minute of it. Doubled up on the live scope. That's what I'm talking about, man. Yes. Too sick. That was fun. Shout out to my buddy Jay Gone Fishing for taking me and Ben fishing on our first day. That was awesome. Had a lot of fun on that trip. All right, and there is our small finesse swim bait setup for tomorrow. A little lighter gear there for that tiny little 3 16 ounce ball head, that small paddle tail swim bait on the back. They were eating that yesterday. That's what we got the most bites on, was this, this type of bait right here. Haven't broke out the spinning setup in a little bit. We'll have it on deck tomorrow. Now the setup that I just cut that bait off of, this is what we're gonna rig up next. I caught my best fish of the day on the flush, 5.2 from Six Cents. Mm. 
smoked it. He's a fire. They're fired up, dude. <laughs> he is fired up. He's stuck, dude. Come on. Nice little thick one. I'll take that. Okay. Start the day. Fell right out. Not bad at all. Deal. Uh, this guy right here, this is the one I switched it up to later in the day. The one I got bid on yesterday was my favorite color. It's the one I'm going to rig up right now. They are sold out. As soon as I posted my first video of this, smashing them out there on the Threadfin Shad color, boom, sold out. But that's what I'm gonna rig up, throwing it weightless on a 4 aught EWG hook. And that's what got me the best one yesterday. So that's what I'm gonna rig up again today. This is my fluke setup right here. I had that little small swim bait on there and it was, it was throwing it fine. I was getting it where I needed to get it, but had to work a little harder than I wanted to, if that makes sense. It wasn't working. It wasn't optimum. It's the best way I can put it. Switch over to the spinning setup for that light bait. Put my flush, my soft plastic jerk bait back over here on my soft plastic jerk bait setup. My fluke rig. Good to go there. Boom, ready to go. All right, so this rod right here that I'm throwing this uh, flush on, this is the Lux Series, seven foot, two inch, medium heavy, moderate fast action rod, paired up with the Corrado 70 MGL, killer, killer finesse bait casting setup. Like I said, I was able to fire that little swim bait out there yesterday, got it done, but uh, this right here, perfect for this. So I was talking about taking notes out there on the water yesterday. One thing I made note of is that I did not get bit on this at all, but that's okay, because I have a plan for this setup. This I was throwing the whale out there on a five aught owner flashy swimmer hook. They just weren't hitting the, the larger size swim bait. So I'm gonna make an adjustment and I'm gonna tie a different bait onto this rod. Now, at the end of the day yesterday, after we had dropped Ben off, we stayed out there to fish for a little while. Jay and I bumped into this dude he told us that he had been killing it and that as soon as it started getting warm they really started biting for him so he was on some fish and one thing i made note of is one of the baits he was throwing was either a chatterbait or a swim jig like a white chatterbait white swim jig something like that and so if he was crushing them on that i would like to have something similar on deck to try as an option tomorrow and that is why i'm going to cut this whale off and i'm going to tie on a chatterbait to this setup this right here is my six cents esp series seven foot three inch heavy moderate rod got it paired up with the scorpion dc and and I really like throwing a chatterbait on this rod. So that's what I'm gonna do, but we're gonna make a little adjustment. I'll show you guys what we're gonna do to the bait. Let's cut this whale off, this chatterbait rigged up. All right, so I'm actually going to throw the Stealth Blade Jackhammer. It's one with the clear plastic blade on it, but I'm gonna make an adjustment. I'm gonna change trailers. The trailer I'm gonna use, this little Hog Farmer Spunk Shad. It's a little straight tail swim bait style, soft plastic bait, and it's gonna do perfect on the back of a chatter bait. There it is, gigged and rigged. I think that looks pretty good. Nice and jiggly, jiggly wiggly. All right, might trim that skirt just a little bit. Give it just a little bit more room to play. That looks perfect. All right, chatterbait going on. Now next up is a bait that I cut off yesterday, but I'm gonna tie back on today. You guys heard me mention that I didn't wanna be dragging a worm around, and I don't wanna be dragging a worm around. Did enough of this yesterday. We're gonna be looking for fish in shallower water. So I'm gonna cut this Texas rig worm off and I'm gonna tie back on the great and powerful Squim Jig, Devon Swim Jig with a Kitek 3.8 on the back of it. So let's go ahead and get this worm cut off. We'll bring up that Swim Jig, Swim Jig setup right here. Sensory Series seven foot, three inch, heavy, fast. My favorite rod for throwing a Swim Jig, super heater. Also SLX DC, 7.2 to one gear ratio, 15 pound Sunline fluorocarbon. Let's get it rigged up. Here is the one that we were throwing yesterday, but it's pretty beat up, been through the ringer. So we can go ahead and replace it. Got a brand new one right here. 3 8 ounce Pro Green Devon Swim Jig. My favorite swim jig on the market. Let's rig it up. Now the trailer that I'm gonna rig up here on this swim jig, Kitek Fat Swing Impact 3.8 inch paddle tail swim bait. Sexy Shad is the color. Always gotta smell them. These have a killer scent. Reminds me of old school power bait. Just saying, that's what it reminds me of. Let's rig up this swim jig right here. A lot of people have trouble with the screw lock. So I'll go ahead and just show you how I do it. First of all, when you're working with a Kitek or a similar ribbed paddle tail swim bait, you wanna get that hook on there as straight as you possibly can and come out directly in the center. That's gonna help your bait swim straight. Give it that kick. 
killer action. Now, once you get to this point, you need to start turning the body of the bait and you need to press the tail around the bend of the hook and the hook point. And then you'll see the bait just sort of naturally starts threading itself on. So that's all, you just push it on around. Thread it on, push it around. And just keep going until you reach the head of the jig. Just like that, boom. Rigged nice and straight, even, ready to go. It's gonna swim like a champ. Some people rig them upside down. This is the way I like, a, I like to rig mine, just straight like this. But with that screw lock, I mean, that thing is not going anywhere. It's on there, ready to fish. If you guys are interested in any of these rods that I'm showing you, or any of these baits that I'm showing you, you can check out sixcentsfishing.com. Use my code JR10, that's gonna give you 10% off everything on the website, the rods, the baits, the gear, everything. Go check them out. Some of the best in the business, small, Texas run, powerhouse of a fishing gear company. Shout out to the six. Thanks for riding with us. Thanks for making the swim jig. I love me some Devon swim jig smoke. All right, swim jig good to go. Now, a lot of times some people ask me if I trim my swim jig skirt. The answer to that is no. On the Devon swim jig, when I'm fishing it with a 3.8 paddle tail, I like to just leave it long and uh, done really well. I mean, that's my PB getter, just like that. So chatterbait, smaller profile, that stealth blade, a little bit shorter tail. I might trim it up a little bit. But on the swim jig, straight out of the pack, just like that. Let it rip. And those are basically going to be my starting setups for tomorrow. Let's review really quick. Got the Sensory Series, seven foot three, heavy, fast, Shimano SLX DC, 15 pound fluoro, Devon swim jig. That's my swim jig setup right there. I'll put links to all this stuff down below in the description. So if you guys wanna check out these rods, see my exact setups that I'm throwing, here's the breakdown, here's everything that I'm running tomorrow. And I'll make it really easy for you guys to find all this stuff. So make sure you just check out the video description when you're finished watching. This is my swim jig setup for tomorrow. Next up, we had the fluke setup or the flush setup, the soft plastic jerk bait setup right here. Shimano Corrado 70 MGL, same Sunline fluorocarbon, Lux series, seven foot, two inch, medium heavy, moderate fast rod. Killer, killer soft plastic jerk bait setup right here. Love it. Next up, we'll go ahead and get this one out of the way. The spinning setup, small profile, swim bait on a ball head, 2.8 inch Kitec fast swing impact. It's a little shad colored swim bait. And that's gonna be the spinning setup for tomorrow. If we happen to have a really tough day, hopefully not. A little bit of wind out today, so hopefully we can just get in the wind tomorrow, power fish them into the boat. But there's the spinning setup. Shimano Sahara 2500 MF or series spinning rod. It's a six foot, 10 inch medium moderate spinning rod. There it is, the finesse setup. All right, these next three are the three that I'm probably most excited about, most excited to throw. We'll start off with the originator, the dominator, Crush 50X, Chester Cheeto, Radiation Craw, seven foot, two inch, medium heavy, moderate fast, MF or series rod, Shimano, SLX DC 7.2 to one gear ratio. For my crankbaits, I like to throw 12 pound Sunline FC crank fluorocarbon. I love this bait. Shout out to Chester Cheeto. Next up, the Chatterbait Rig. We got that little Spunk Shad on there. ESP Series 7.3 Heavy Moderate Shimano Scorpion DC. Gonna get shallow, throw the Chatterbait around and see if we can get bit on that Stealth Blade. And last but certainly not least, the setup that I'm most excited to throw, the setup that I actually hope we catch fish on, the Lux Series 7 foot 4 inch medium heavy fast action movement square bill rod paired up with a Shimano Corrado K. 12 pound Sunline FC crank fluorocarbon and a six cents Crush Flat 75X in Shad Pro. If I could pick anything to catch them on tomorrow, it would definitely be this setup right here. Hopefully we can find some crankbait eaters. If not, I am willing to slow down. I'm also gonna rig up a creature style jig, maybe one or two other things. Those right here are gonna be the starting setups for tomorrow's trip with Ben. I just thought I would walk you guys through this little uh, bait rigging session. So I just wanted to try out something a little bit different, walk you guys through that little process right there. Getting ready for the water tomorrow. Gonna go fish with Ben Milliken one more time while he's here in Austin. Looking forward to it. Can't wait. Shout out to the homie Ben. Shout out to the MF or Nation. I know there's a lot of you guys who watch his channel that also watch mine. Thank you to Jay Gone Fishing for taking us out fishing that first day. And thank you to all of you for hanging out with me in another video. Keep your eyes on the website, theheaterzone.com because hoodies, hats, stickers, shirts, everything is coming back. We have a big restock waiting to hit right now. Things are just moving a little bit slow, but I promise you I'm working on it. I'm pushing for it. 
it will happen soon and i'll make sure that you guys know when it does but just stay ready keep your eyes on the site that's the heaterzone.com remember to check out the video description if you're interested in anything that you saw me show you in the video there's also multiple ways for you to support the channel save yourself some money at the same time down there below and there that was guys i hope you enjoyed hanging out in the boat with me getting all the setups prepared for the water yeah just give you guys a quick little rundown breakdown behind the scenes look at what i do when i'm getting ready for a day of fishing it doesn't always work you guys know i'm a power fisherman i like turning and burning covering water and a lot of times finesse just happens to be the name of the game but hopefully we'll be able to get out there on the water put those bait selections to work catch us some fish but you guys are just gonna have to stay tuned subscribe to the channel if you want to see that it's coming to you live and direct in full effect in the next video one more time this blade hoodie super legit if you guys were on the fence jump over aces this thing is money super legit six fishing.com jr10 for the win also you might notice these awesome sunglasses that i'm wearing can't stress this enough i wear super important not just in the summertime but year round i do not leave home without my waterland shades these are the hybro frames with the blue mirrored lenses people ask me all the time hey what frames do you wear hybros that's my preference but they got a lot of awesome stylish options over there waterlandco.com jr10 for the win you know the deal but that's gonna do it for me out here today guys i hope you enjoyed this little bait rigging video something just a little bit different for you guys make sure you stick around we have some really exciting stuff coming soon beetlejuice although covered in snow we're gonna be wiping all this off and getting ready to hit the road fish some new water really soon with some really awesome people i can't wait to share the content with you guys we're gonna be heading south hopefully to warmer weather but that's gonna do it for this one thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my video it means the world to me but that's about all i got for you today that about does it that about wraps her on up so i'm gonna say goodbye for now and i'll see you on the next one